in any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself into. When you reach the front desk, ask to visit someone who calls herself the holder of song. You will then be guided to a long staircase that spirals higher than the building stands. At the stairs summit is a door. As you open the door, a sudden wave of heat will pour out from the hallway beyond it and wash over you. Proceed down the hallway. As you walk, the air around you will grow increasingly frigid. When you feel as if you're about to be encased in ice, you must stand perfectly still, remain silent, and listen. If after a few seconds, you hear a baby crying, turn and run. No harm will befall you, but the infant's cry will follow you wherever you go. If you hear it for the rest of your life, count yourself lucky. If and when it stops, your firstborn will die. If you do not hear a baby's cry, wait for the hallway to grow warm once more and then proceed to the door at its end and enter. The room beyond will be a wash in green light and its center will be an old woman turning a handle of a silent music box. Her legs have both been severed at the knees and when you speak to her you must look into her eyes. She hides a spear fashioned from bones of her legs Break eye contact, and she will impale you with it, and leave you to bleed to death in seemingly unending agony. She will respond to only one question, and one question only. What was the song they used to play? The old woman will begin to sing in a language not of this world. Her melody will be the most beautiful one you have ever heard, bringing peace and sincerity to your mind, body, and soul. You will find yourself vividly imagining a band of carefree children, playing and singing, innocent as can be. And within minutes, the scene will eventually take a horribly sinister turn. The children will begin to fight each other, and their conflict will quickly escalate to a most brutal, lethal violence you can convince of. They will impale each other on wooden poles, disembowel each other with sharp rocks, and even rip flesh from bone with their bare hands. You will witness these children, now merely tattered doppelgangers of themselves, spreading death and destruction more horrific than you can ever imagine on your own. You will see a naked boy drenched in blood, singing with delight as he runs through a hellish wasteland, pursued by unspeakable monsters. They will uh, overtake him and utterly destroy them. The song still ensuing from his shredded lips all the while. Yet, inexplicably, you will remain calm and peaceful even as you watch this unspeakable brutality. When these horrific visions end, an intense pain will stab your chest. Your heart will feel like it is about to explode. Do not let the agony break your focus. Do not break eye contact with the old woman, lest you invite a fate so horrible that an exploding heart seems to be lovely by comparison. If you remain steadfast in your gaze, the pain will eventually cease. The wound will stand up, though with your eyes still focused on hers, you will not know how, and place a music box in your hands. The music box is object 6 of 538. When its song plays again, they all will come together. No, we do not want that now, do we? <laughs>